Hi you guys, it's Melanie and welcome to our 2020 Christmas home tour. I am so ecstatic about this winter wonderland theme. For those of you guys who've been following me for quite some time, you know that I absolutely love color in our home. But this year, my husband wanted to do something different since we were not able to take our dream vacation this year due to all that's going on in the world. So he decided, hey babe, let's turn our home into a vacation spot. And so thus this entire winter wonderland theme was birthed. So just think about your favorite spot in Aspen, Colorado or Finland or Sweden, somewhere with snow-capped mountains and very cold weather and beautiful Christmas lights. Yes, we were going for that whole warm and cozy theme this year. And so I started out by changing our curtains around. I got them from Amazon. They are absolutely amazing. I will link them down below. Also over the fireplace, I wanted to mix uh, in different types of garland and um, you know, create that whole flocked snowy look to mesh with our white sequin pillows and um, the metallic and white pillows, this baby it's cold outside pillow. I got these all from TJ Maxx and Tuesday morning. Uh, for the Christmas tree this year, I decided just to use the silver and golds. And I always uh, coordinate my wrapping paper with my tree. And then I created this custom ribbon. I saw some on Balsam Hill and it was like $150 for the white and rhinestone ribbon it was like 150 dollars for five yards i was like eh, we're gonna diy it so that's exactly what i did this rhinestone ribbon that you see here i diy'd it and then i added in the um flocked floral picks to give our green glittery tree more of a flocked look I also embellished our gifts with the rhinestone ribbon and some bling from totallydazzle.com. I absolutely love the way that this all meshed together. The fur rug just bought that area uh, element of comfort that we wanted and it turned out beautiful. Last year I thought about
always wanted a Christmas village or some type of Christmas themed vignette on our bar area, but I could never find anything that quite suit, you know, would quite suit our taste. Um, but this year, doing all of the glass and clear acrylic, the deer, um, the apothecary jars with snow with little villages inside turned out absolutely amazing. And I cannot wait to build on this as the years goes on. I also use a Christmas tree skirt for the fur and it just turned out absolutely fabulous. The tablescape also blends with that. I have an entire video showing you guys how to create the centerpiece and how to do the tablescape step by step and I will be sure to um, post that video so stay tuned for that. Make sure your notification bells are turned on. I go into great detail um, as to how I design this. I do a DIY tutorial, um, just share with you like the sources for the bling, uh, the chair covers and everything that I did to transform this once colorful space into a very elegant and calm and relaxing area that we can enjoy breakfast and dinner in our in-home winter wonderland. I could not stop decorating you guys. Once I got started, I don't know if you're like that, but I was looking at our back counter area. So I decided to incorporate a little bit of black and a small hot cocoa bar. I absolutely love the way that it turned out, just using black and white items. And keeping with that black and white theme and gray, I also decorated the man cave. I added a, two Christmas pillows, a Christmas throw, and the two Christmas pictures that you see there. Both of them were from Tuesday morning. The hubby absolutely loved it. Yes, every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside. We gather around the fireplace And no one cares about yesterday If you want to see more of how our Christmas family photos turned out, be sure to join me and follow me on Instagram. I am living luxuriously for less on all of our social media handles. Now moving on to our guest bedroom. I initially had planned on painting this bedroom, but I could not find everything that I wanted. So we just put a flocked Christmas tree there. We didn't add any um, decor because I just thought like the ambiance for the lights were great. I put a small tray at the bottom with a floral uh, centerpiece and a beautiful garden magazine. I got this centerpiece from Ross and it was $8.99. So I thought it was a nice touch and just a great example on how you can um, incorporate Christmas decor into your existing uh, color palette in your home which is what I've done for years this is the first time I've actually completely transformed our home um, for the holidays so we'll be sticking with this theme until I don't know for a while so I, I um, really advise doing that as well also here is our master bedroom here again is an example of how I just incorporated the golds and champagnes and creams and furs into this space to just make it nice and cozy and give it a touch of Christmas. One of the things that I did do, I'll show you guys later, is that I moved those lamps into the living room and moved my living room lamps into the master bedroom. But that's the only change that I made. Some of you guys have seen our master bathroom before. I don't do much in this space for Christmas. I just add a few of the rhinestone reindeer. I got these from Ross quite some time ago um, when I was traveling with my job and I 
above our toilet area, I have our wedding photos. I just feel like our master bedroom and bathroom is a very private and intimate area. So I do like to include a lot of photos in those two spaces. Over on um, our storage chest here or this accent piece, I have the Joy Candles and I also have um, some beautiful towels and things like that monogrammed inside of that. And uh, for the centerpiece, we just have Christmas balls on top of the sink. It's just pretty clean. And then the walls are painted in balanced beige and a custom metallic silver color. I get asked about that all the time. But the balanced beige is by Sherman Williams. And the acrylic, uh, the metallic silver is a very custom paint. So I have no clue there. Um, our patio turned out absolutely amazing to see this entire tour as well as a DIY. I will be sure to link it in the description box and I will also put a tag here. So I hope you guys enjoyed our 2020 holiday home tour. I would love to know your favorite um, aspect of this tour. Which room was your favorite? Was it a living room? Was it the uh, tablescape? Was it our bedroom, guest bedroom? The um, Was it the man cave? I'd love to hear it. So please comment down below and let us know. And as always, don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn your notification bell on. We we have so many more exciting, uh, so much more exciting content coming your way. Happy holidays from my home to yours. Much love and many blessings, Melanie. Let's go outside, the snow is falling down And every child is having so much fun The snowman is twice the size as me With a smile as quirky as mine We're holding hands to keep each other warm While we stand and watch a choir perform And all the Christmas songs that we love Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love and in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with 